Hi from me in Pattaya, Thailand. You can't see what I'm looking at at the moment, but I like to sit outside on my condo balcony sometimes. And there's a view of the sea. I can look across to Kolam, Pattaya Parks, just on my horizon. And uh, it's a really nice place to just sit and relax and unwind after a day's work. Given the fact that I'm now working full time in my front room and at times it feels a little bit like Groundhog Day. Rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. Every day seemingly the same thing. But as I start to share some of my views and opinions about what my life is like, and this is the topic for my vlog today, sometimes I feel like I need to be careful what I say, even on my own personal platform, which is my place to share this. Because we're in a tough strange new world with issues like covid and then a combination of factors even these social media's platforms that i'm sharing my views on now um let me explain so fundamentally when i launched down about thailand it was about life as an expat work an expat and travel across thailand and then hmm covid hit us talk of travel become increasingly less appropriate at a time when the rest of the world and locally we would be told not to travel so much. Uh, work, I try not to talk too much about my work and there's reasons to that. I often feel like I need to bite my lip because if I talk about my job and the efforts I'm putting in and how it's getting on, others will often so you think about other people that have lost their jobs and, and things like that. And that's the issue. When it comes to sharing my personal experience, there are minority groups on these social media that, for some reason, living a, half, a glass half-empty life, will frown upon it. And I don't want to fall into a trap of allowing others and societies and peoples to self-regulate our actions and therefore freedom to act as we see fit rather than the world around us they're inhibitors uh, here's, here's the example now when I speak about my personal vlog and what's happening and Groundhog Day I've had the few comments could you could be starving stop reporting the doom and gloom stop whinging as others with less than you yes Correct. Stating the obvious. Of course, there will always be people worse off than us. But it doesn't stop the right and uh, interest for me to share my personal stories with others. What can I do? There will always be starving and homeless and unemployed and those stuffed full of COVID and dying. Doesn't take away my right to be able to share what I'm doing. And I wonder sometimes why people do go onto social media. Don't worry, I'm not, not depressed by this, but it's just interesting, curious times that they will rather see the negativity and downside of everything. Just last week, I had my AstraZeneca jab. Again, another contentious, debatable topic. My Facebook rep said, don't go, don't go anywhere near COVID. Don't talk about these things because it's just opened up a minefield and there's too much sensitivities. I guess it's my right to discuss what's happening in my life. And surely me skirting the issue of a significant moment in time would be uh, given in to the masses. You know, like I knew what was coming when I posted my blog. There was the anti-vaxxers. And there were those that said, how did you get your vaccine so young? Um, I've tried registering and haven't got anywhere. It doesn't always work out in life how we, how we think it is. And sometimes that's just how it works. Here, though, if I need to clear how I did it, was very early on I had to make a decision whether I wanted to be one of those people that got the vaccine or try and steer clear of it. And I needed to come up with some hypotheses for pros and cons. My position is this, COVID's never going away and we're going to have to live with this for the rest of our lives. 
And at some point, I imagine most of us will get COVID. Look at the way it's adapting and morphing. So by taking the vaccination, okay, it's, it helps societies and um, this herd immunity. But personally, because you do need to make decisions for yourself as well, and my family, my wife was vaccinated. If and when we do get COVID, it will be less harmful to us because we've already got our antibodies. To think you can just hide away from this forever, it's just not reasonable. And uh, like it or lump it, I'm very sure that by having these vaccinations, however much you might hold on to your freedom of rights, we are in societies and worlds which need to be harmonious and get on with people around us. We're not acting in isolation. And if you want to travel across the world and go to places, and I'm sure there will be a much easier way, a much easier way to travel if you can show you've had your double dose. But everyone entitled to their own view, but respect the views of others and the decisions they've made. Because at this point now, no one can say who's right or wrong. You just have to go with what you think's right. You know, two, two weeks ago, or in the last two weeks, there was the stories about Richard Branson and Jeff Bezos doing their space travel. Okay, we know they're billionaires and there and might have been... Uh, there's always factors of pros and cons as well, for whether you like people or not. And I was surprised and startled that space travel is interesting. And so what about other factors? Can't we just applaud the fact of what they've achieved? But yet, social media gives everyone a platform to say, ah, oh, but they were tax exempt, it's money wasted, they're billionaireists enjoying these extreme hobbies. And I think, good on them. We're in a free market capitalist world. And they've played the rules they need to, to get to where they are. So rather than seek to find issue, is it not better just for your own soul and wellness to applaud them and get on with life? Life's so short and I'm not prepared to be concerned about what minority users have to say on my own Facebook page. And it's good to debate and have discussion, but I'm not going to let any bad trolling comments start to infiltrate my own platform and i want people to feel at ease with posting you know just decent debate and comment there's a difference between nasty and healthy debate and really there should be no place for it and we should just squeeze these people out uh, i would love to just vlog about walking down the beach and talking about how nice and glorious the day is. But that's not the reality while such hardship and tragedy is around us happening in Thailand. So I can't do it. And it's and unfortunately there are some doom and gloom getting into my posts about what's happening here in Thailand. That's just because my vlogs are a reflection on my work in life and time in Thailand. I'm not going to dress it up. Uh... I think that's it. I want to create and surround myself with positive, happy people that are supportive of each other. And uh, there's no place in my life for toxic people. I'll squeeze them out. So I hope you continue to enjoy Down About Thailand. It will be a safe place for us all to comment and uh, learn and work together. So for me, Done about Thailand. Stay safe. Until next time.